you in the market to sell your home, there's a two-week window that will get you the best bang for your buck. We want to tell you those two weeks. The best time to put your house on the market is between May 1st and May 15th. That's according to a new report from Zillow. It will sell faster and for a $1,500 premium if you sell between that two weeks, May 1st and May 15th. Joining us right now, Rogers Healy, an associate's real estate owner, Rogers Healy himself. Rogers, good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. How are you we, doing? Well, we've heard so much about the hot spring selling season, but why is that first two weeks of May so important? So here's my theory. Every year, whenever college kids graduate, they normally move between May and June. And so their leases are expiring, like March, April, and then the beginning of May. And so whenever it's time for them to buy after the end of a 12-month lease, it's usually a, a, an early May close. And so the, these seasons usually start... Um, you know, in any large city, any small city, doesn't matter. And then we just see the cycles continue. So it's a, it's a pretty reliant uh, season that we've seen, especially with that, that kind of millennial uh, buyer. But why wouldn't it be that houses that were on the market before, why is the magic putting them on the market, listing them May 1st to May 15th? Isn't that what? It it, it, yeah, I mean, it, it just depends. And again, it depends on who, who the first time home buyer is. You know, and a lot of these guys that are in markets like Dallas, Chicago, Atlanta, uh, Charlotte, they're, they're really between the ages of 25 and 28, and they really are getting out of their lease for the first time. And maybe, you know, maybe they had a lease that was up at the end of April, and yeah. they're closing in May. But it, it just it, it just depends on the market. But that is normally a busy time of the year, and I think the statistic is right around like one and a half to two percent higher. You know, that's that's the yield at the beginning of May. Wow, uh, Rogers, it's Dagan McDowell. Is some of it that people hey, just don't like buying and looking at real estate when it's cold outside? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and luckily we don't have to deal with that in cities like Dallas. But yeah, I mean, buying real estate is kind of a hobby for a lot of people. And January is cold for they're... Texans, by the way. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. no, true. I mean, yeah, the I, I, does have a lot to do with yeah. it because it's nice yeah. out. You can yeah. and your house. You could clean up your house and, it, and and plant stuff. It looks better. Yeah. But yeah, you know what I think is also, really funny I mean, is that there's also, according to this survey from Zillow, the study, uh, the best day of the week to put your house on the market is a Saturday. Why? Yeah, because I mean, pe pe yeah, people are obsessed with with real estate, and it, and it, like I said, it's it's a hobby for people, whether they're buying, selling, or just staying put. And our goal as realtors is to go and hit them, you know, when when we have their attention. And most people wake up in the morning, and after they go and read the paper, read the Bible, and and watch you guys on TV, they're just scrolling through their phone, looking at looking at real estate. And so there's something psychological about having someone see a house the first day on the market, where it just tricks yeah. their psyche. And they want to go see it, even if they didn't think they were looking. All of a sudden, we've got a home buyer. Funny. Well, and, and to Lee's point, I mean, if you've got a house that's been on the market for several months and you're looking at it, you start to ask yourself, well, what's wrong with this place? Nobody's buying it. Why has it been on the market? It's not fresh anymore. Isn't there some element of the freshness there? Yeah, and I think it just depends. I think in, in cities like Dallas, we've seen such, such growth where the days in the market stigma isn't really there because there's so much new construction that some builders put it on the market the day they break ground. So you see houses selling four or five hundred dollars, four or five hundred days into the days on the market, and the buyers are are educated. But yeah, I, I think that right now, like the average days on market in a in a top 15 city is about 30. So buyers, especially in the first time buyer category, tend to have a little bit of a freak out moment, wondering why it's day 31. But, you know, stuff happens, and beggars can't be choosers at this point. Yeah, you talk about millennials. I, I guess they're finally ready to buy homes, right? But they've got a whole new set of problems, and that's higher prices, lower inventory. Uh, there's a Harvard Joint Center for Housing study out, and it says that first-time homebuyers account for 34% of the housing market, and that's down from 40% in 2005. What does that mean for, you know, millennials longer term? Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of this has to do with the fact that cash is still king. And millennials that are trying to purchase homes, it's great, and it's obviously going to continue to happen. But when you're competing against people, and that 6% delta, you know, obviously between what used to be 40%, a lot of those people are second-time buyers, third-time buyers. They're also investors, which means they're paying cash. And so when a homeowner has two offers on the table, one for a finance a contract for a higher price and one for cash for a little bit lower, they're probably going to take the cash deal. And so it just kind of goes back to the thing we've talked about multiple times is you've got to be able to save your money and be, you know, as attractive as possible when it comes down to submitting an offer. Yeah, that's a great point. Rogers, good to see you. Thanks so much. You too. Thanks Rogers, for having me. Rogers Healy joining us.